Alright guys, we are back for a brand new episode of the podcast, episode 30, so big card this yeah, yeah. weekend. Let's get cracking straight into the UFC 251 dissection. <laughs> <laughs> dissection, <laughs> not breakdown, dissection. Yeah, dissection. So basically, um, originally supposed to be Kamaru Usman versus Gilbert Burns, yeah, both teammates used to train together. Yeah, but for obviously for this fight they didn't yeah, train yeah. together. Um, Kamaru Usman moved out to Delaware. Uh, to Delaware. Yeah, train. No, with Colorado. Team. Yeah. Elevation. Yeah, train with basically uh, Justin Gaethje yeah, and uh, Trevor Whitman. Whitman. Yeah. So uh, that was his situation. Mm. And then last week Friday, what's the date? Third of July. Yeah, third of yeah, July. Yeah. They find out that Gilbert Burns is basically Just tested positive for coronavirus, and his teammates and brother i think yeah and this was before they cast the flight to abu dhabi so they have to get tested before they cast the flight yeah and so he didn't catch his flight went back home um, um basically they had to call up the super huh uh, Muslim, okay. yeah BMF. Superman, the bmf title holder yeah the one and only yeah and um he call he called up. I mean, yeah, he, so he had to call up Tony Montana. No, he yeah. basically uh, what's it called? Uh, he, he answered the call. Yeah, he answered the call because. <laughs> yeah, they money that talks. There, but they pulled out the money. That's why. He he did say you know that. Um, yeah, he, Dana, he, Dana he, Dana they, they didn't give the uh, money he wanted, but he got very close. So it was good. Enough. You think couple couple million? Yeah, and. Um, Considering the fact, it's a win-win for him, really. Yeah. He fights uh, Usman on six days' notice. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, so for people, he passed the COVID test, and it's official, right? And he he um, he passed the uh, COVID test official, and he's got nothing to lose. So if he wins, he beat Kamal Usman on six days' notice, and he looks like a bigger BMF. He's a legendary status then, because yeah. of the wins that he came off of... Uh, Darren Till, then Ben Askren, and then Nate Diaz to win the BMF title. Now, if he does this, yeah. like a great knockout or whatever, a great win, yeah, then that puts him up to that status where you can reach the Hall of Fame and yeah. you know, all that. And, and, and another thing is... And the millions of dollars. And, and another thing is, if he wins as well, he beats uh, Bisbing's record on 17-day notice against uh, Luke Rockwell. Yeah, that's another and, thing. And, so if, and if he loses, it doesn't matter because he only lost on... Six, six days, days notice. So yeah. he still he still got a chance for a yeah, match. Because basically, Kamal Usman, whether regardless if he was training for him or not, he's had a full camp. So yeah. he's in tip top condition. Exactly. So even though he's fighting a different fighter, the fact that he's in, he's more likely going to be in the best shape compared yeah. to Masvidal. He's not going to yeah. be in. Um, I don't personally don't think he's going to so, be in the full hundred so percent. So let's b- uh, dissect this fight now. So, so we know that um, well. obviously, yeah, we know that uh, similar heights, uh. inch difference. So Kamara six four and he's five foot eleven. Uh, Masvidal. Um, obviously, we know that Masvidal uh, used to fight in the lightweight division, and now he's in the yeah. welterweight. But he feels that well though for yeah, the welterweight yeah, yeah. division. Yeah. So he does, he's not exactly a small guy, if you mm. think about it. So I don't think Kamaru Usman will ragdoll him, like they say in the you know headlines, that Kamaru is going to ragdoll Masvidal and stuff like that. Uh, Colby was saying yeah, Colby it. Yeah, Colby Covington was saying it. And um, so I don't think he's going to ragdoll him. He will eventually maybe take him down, but you can't underestimate Masvidal's takedown defense and his ground. Yeah, his ground game. You can't underestimate that. Yeah, and... Um, Personally, I think because of the short notice, I would give it to Kamaru though. That that would be my. Okay. You're gonna give it to Usman then, yeah? Yeah, the win because. How do you see him winning? No, it? not my heart. My heart wants. <laughs> my heart wants to see Masvidal do a, you listen, know, no a big cares, Listen, no one cares about your heart. <laughs> yeah. What people want is uh, the answers. Okay, if I put, had to put, section. if you had to put money on the line, then you would go with. Uh, yeah, but Kamaru most likely sixty to forty. Then you have to say. Okay, but. How would you, how do you see the fight going? Because wear him out, Kamara just wear him out over just time. Wrestling. Yeah, just trying to keep on taking down. If you can't take him down, 
But, like you said, though, Masvidal could pull off that upset. Yes. Yeah, I think the first three rounds crucial. Masvidal yeah, can't get it done. take the fight, right? Yeah. yeah. Fourth and fifth, he's going to start the later the fight goes, goes, the more favors uh, Kamaru yeah. Usman, right? Simple as that. If, if we're looking at it, he's got... You gotta look at it from this mindset though. Masvidal's got nothing to lose, yeah. so he's gonna try to break his head off. You gotta take his head off, yeah. Okay, yeah. Actually, you know when I look at it, that, but but then he but, could he could do like a risky move. Like yeah, but what are the chances game. though? If I was Masvidal, I'd take a risk game because he's got money now. Anyway, he's got the money. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah. wanted close to it maybe. So I would take a risk and but, go uh, for that flying knee. Yeah, again. but obviously, <laughs> but obviously he still wants to. Win the belt because that leads to more sponsorship, more money. Yeah. But he will take a risk in this fight. He has to because he's. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think he's been training as hard as Kamaru because no, uh, he hasn't. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Do you think he has though? Because remember they. We don't know with him. Yeah, it might. It might be. You don't know. Because obviously, like a month ago, they were saying that this was the fight to happen anyway, and they gave it to Gilbert Burns. Then so he, he might, might have been, been training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. So, uh, so what do you lot think? Has he, uh, the people watching? Do you think he's been training? I and um, I uh, we forgot to mention. Uh, you want to mention? Yeah, uh, we forgot to mention that. Basically, on Saturday, eleventh of July, we're going to do a watch along of uh, UFC two five one. So it's a bit like you know where Joe Rogan, where you watch the fights and you can. It's a bit like Joe Rogan's fight companion. Fight companion, yeah. Essentially, but. so we will watch the fights. You lot watch the fights, and you can be on the live. We'll obviously chat on the um, live stream, so um, yeah, it might be, yeah, it'd be fun. We'll be talking. You can chat to us on the live chat, and we might be eating food. We don't know. Yeah, we can decide. Eat some uh, wings. I don't know. Eat some burgers and wings, but uh, just enjoy the fights. Definitely it? check that yeah. out with like-minded people. Yeah, it's sometimes hard to find people uh, who enjoy uh, watching MMA. Yeah, so I, I personally think that you want to have a quick look at the stats. Oh no, you give your opinion. Okay. So, Masvidal won, he knocked out um, Ben Askren yeah. at Downhill, and then he beats the living shit out of Nate, yeah. Nate, Nate Diaz, and then we've got Kamaru Usman, he's just beaten everyone since he's been in the UFC. Uh, he hasn't looked, he's looked really impressive, he takedowns, you know, grinding people out, and then uh, his fight with Comfort was really good, yeah. and it was an entertaining fight. I personally thought it was going to be a snooze fest. Because I thought they're just gonna wrestle each other to death. Yeah. But um, which is nothing wrong. But as long as you get the win. Uh, but it was a really entertaining fight. Like they were standing and banging, and um, it was a tough fight. It was a tough fight. Kamaru Usman got. But would you? Put he that, got hit a lot by uh, Covington. But the one question I'd like to ask you. You gotta remember Covington and Kamaru stand up is personally I don't think nowhere so near. Nowhere near uh, Masvidal. Masvidal. Yeah. Well, that's, arguably that's why he stood up with Covington because yeah, Covington yeah. Uh, he's arguably the best yeah. striker in the division one of the top strikers in the division he's probably the best but that's what that's where if Meisler can get up and they start standing up I honestly think that uh, Kamaru is going to struggle a lot yeah. in the stand up because there's levels to the stand up right? and Meisler is way high but then that's where the wrestling yeah. cancels that out we'll see and him. yeah I if I had to, uh, so I'm just going to use my brain for this one instead of my heart <laughs> for my predictions because yeah. I think the last live stream I got nearly everything wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, I think, honestly, Kamaru Usman wins and he grinds you yeah. out. Yeah. I think he grinds uh, Masvidal down. My heart says Masvidal, my brain says Kamaru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, do you, uh, we have a quick look. Oh, you forgot, also forgot to mention that uh, Kamaru Usman has only had two knockouts. So yeah, he, that's what I said. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Grind, grind, yeah. Which I just mentioned the stat though. Um, KO TKO's forty uh, percent KO. What? Okay, is record in it. Submission seven percent and six percent for Masvidal. You don't know. You can't probably finish him, but it's very unlikely that you're gonna finish Masvidal. See, Masvidal average fight time is twelve fifty eight, and Kamara is sixteen forty. So obviously, Kamara likes to have longer fights and grind out. Uh oh. Okay, significant strikes more to Kamaru. But yeah, that's but, because but, of uh, the Covington fight must have increased that a lot. Dramatically. Yeah, Masvidal uh, lands per, more per minute though. Yeah. So, it is... Uh, not absorbed per minute. 
Yeah, but yeah. I think I think logically, if you're gonna go with it logically, Kamal yeah. Osman's gonna grind him out. Decision. Yeah, I think that's why I would see. No, obviously stats don't mean nothing when it comes to a fight. When it comes to the real fight. Yeah, yeah, but they do have significance, but at the end of the day, Kamaru wasn't training for him, so he might be a bit like thinking about that. But and uh, he's uh, Masvidal's. I don't think Stamra is gonna be there to the last five rounds. Yeah, so you got to factor yeah. all these factors in. But then you got the fact of he's got no risk. No, like he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> so how many factors is that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of factors. <laughs> um, so I think... Uh, Kamaru's our choice. So wh- what's our pick then? It's yeah. final pick. Final. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the risky pick. Masvidal wins, bro. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> huh? KO, what? Finish. KO, KO, man. Finish. Okay. Third round. Finish. Yeah, you ruined my warm up because I was gonna do that. <laughs> Go on, quick okay, now. I think um, I think Kamaru Usman decision. All right, that's the main fight we talked about. Don't forget, watch it. We're gonna do the watch along live stream and made our nose good. Okay, let's go to Cole main event. This is another title fight now. Alexander Volkanovski, Max Holloway. You seen Max Holloway talking about training on Zoom? I think that's a total lie. But yeah, yeah but he we said can he believe he that said he's been training on Zoom. But yeah, maybe, maybe he's you want, that for yeah. uh, legal reasons. I don't know whether he said he yeah. that or or he's uh, just uh, trying to get in the people's head. Yeah, people's heads. Because uh, even Alexander Volkanovsky goes that's full. He's full of shit. <laughs> he has yeah, to be. So. You can't train for a title fight. On yeah, Zoom. And on Zoom. Yeah, yeah no I can't chance. believe that. I don't. Yeah. You want to break down the fight this one? Yeah, go on then. Um, so Alexander Volkanovsky versus Max Holloway. Um, I think uh, Holloway he's looked for good they've had a this is their rematch right yeah yeah so Volkanovski won the first one uh, Volkanovski beat him kind of everywhere like, even first thing I think I think Max Holloway came back near the ending though like okay. a bit of fourth yeah, fifth round cardio yeah, yeah. so um, he, I think he did I can't remember the actual scorecard so that means this fight is going to be a lot more you think closer closer yeah but I Shabazz, you know Volkanovski before, like even when he fought Chad Mendes, I doubted him. I vol- I he's one. proven me, yeah, and he's proven me wrong each time. So uh, I think uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Volkanovski for this one. I mean, he's got good striking, good power, and he's uh, he's got good uh, takedowns. Obviously, like the you're looking at the height and reach difference. There is actually whoa, they're saying that his reach is longer than Max's. Yeah, Max yeah. Holloway's got a short reach. So basically, the only difference is the height. Isn't it? Um, yeah, Volkanovski's weirdly got a 71.5 inch reach and Max Holloway's got a 69 inch yeah. reach. And uh, I think with these two... I like the thingy though. You know, if you go on the UFC website, you see the stats. They actually have the leg reach now. Yeah, they have leg reach, which is a factor. So it's, uh, you know, it's nice that they have uh, that I just realised yeah, now. But Max so basically, Max has a 6 inch more leg reach yeah so what do you uh, think though that's why you think Volkanovski to win then yeah, he's just going to yeah. stick on that uh, you know jab, stick on that side yeah. jab he's got good power his power go for them double legs power doubles yeah. Yeah, have you seen that picture of Volkanovski where he's just like super jacked no. when he was younger I think he used to play uh, that rugby yeah. that rugby was it football yeah. Australian football man. yeah rugby yeah, yeah. And he's just like super jacked, and he was. Yeah, they were saying that he was weighing like 200 pounds. Yeah, it's crazy because <laughs> he's only like five or six. Yeah. So I don't know how that works. But. Must have been bare fat. But, he uh, wasn't fat, he was jacked? Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't was fat. On some, on some but, I don't know if he was on the girl masala, but uh, he looked jacked. My, yeah. uh, my opinion is that it's going to be a much closer fight. I think Max Holloway can do it, though. He could be him. Yeah. Because after you fight once with someone. Especially a title, five rounds and went. Yeah. You could find the missing ingredient. Mm. Like, yeah, through Zoom. What, right? Yeah, through Zoom. <laughs> yeah, through Zoom. Yeah. Uh, Max has got the longer reach leg kicks. What would he train for? He don't, the only thing he can train for not get taken down. But he did that well anyway in the fight. Yeah. More, more volume. I don't. I remember him having not um, thingy. Being His volume was lower. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, he didn't attack as much. Maybe he was scared to get... the more Diaz approach. Yeah. Just kind of go forward and just... Yeah, just... Jab, jab, shot. Was, you can't be scared of his takedowns, can you? Because... Uh, uh, yeah. 
Otherwise, you you might just lose fight on volume then again. On a uh, decision. Yeah. So what? Uh, so uh, my official pick would be. I'm gonna go with the current champ though, Volkanovski. I think he's gonna train more harder to prove that he's the uh, best in the uh, featherweight. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Volkanovski just because he was jacked before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, who's the next fight? Okay, Peter Yan oh, versus Petro Jose Aldo. Petro, is it Petro Yan? Yeah, Petro Okay, Petro Yan versus Jose Aldo. Is it Jose or Jose Aldo? Oh, man. Jose Aldo. Oh, uh, carry on. Talk about it. So, Petro Yan versus Jose Aldo, guys. So, this is for the vacant bantamweight champion because Triple C uh, vacated. Yeah, he vacated title. Yep. So, uh, this fight now. I'm trying to... Honestly, I don't even know. Because... I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with uh, Petra Yan. Yeah, but we've got to dissect this. So, Petra Yan, amazing boxing. Yeah. He's got them hands. I think he was a... Uh, is he a uh, com- wait, master of boxing in Russia? I'm not sure, but I'll find out later. But... Uh, <laughs> but uh, him and all... All I know is he, he destroyed Faber. Um, well, Faber's not the new one. Yes, Faber came out of retirement yeah. to get his ass whooped. Now, who else did he beat, man? He beat some good people, man. Yeah, and uh, no, he has beaten some good people, but um, but it's yes, basically, you're going on the pedigree of thingy and um, uh, Aldo's you know, featherweight. Yeah, true. Sure. You can't because this is a totally different. Program. Yeah, I know, but but we can make the argument. Oh, oh no, you beat Dodson and Rivera, so fair enough. Yeah, They're fair really enough. Good fighters, yeah. but decision. Yeah. Okay, decision. but but uh, hear me out here, right? Aldo fought Marais in his first fight, a bantamweight. Yeah. And the first fight's always the hardest fight yeah. when you're in a new weight class, right? So look at Aldo, and he fought the number one guy who fought Henry Cejudo, I think, before that. Yeah. He fought Henry Cejudo, and he uh, yeah he lost that, but uh, yeah, and then <laughs> uh, they fought, and Aldo arguably beat him. So Aldo's, Aldo's is he the first guy to ever get a tight to get a tight fight with a loss, or is it somebody else? No, I don't know. It might be. He might be, he might be from my head. I can't remember. But he didn't lose the fight though. So yeah, but they yeah. on the record Officially, he's yeah. lost the fight. But yeah. arguably you could, you know, you could make the argument he won. So looking at that, he fought Marais and he was winning that fight. His first fight is always the tough one. He got that out of the way, and he's yeah. saying he, Aldo said himself that the cut is a lot easier for him at bantamweight than featherweight. Maybe training. You think it's because he's more disciplined with the yeah, diet and um, maybe everything. diet discipline, maybe yeah. less um, more cardio work. And maybe less sparring. Less muscle to carry as well. Maybe sparring less as well because of nothing to do with the cut and that. But um, I think he's sparring before they used to spar too much. In the, yeah, no one. Yeah, they, yeah, I've seen some videos when they used to spar, uh, and they used to spar really hard. Yeah, I think that's why he he started losing because of all the damage taking. I from. think he just lost his. What, just d- drive as well, though. Drive as well, and he just didn't. He's going old, though, as well. Yeah, you don't yeah, realize. Yeah, yeah. Speed slows down a bit, yeah. and because uh, they go that as you get older, speed's like the first thing you lose, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's good to see his new style. He doesn't do as much leg kicks anymore, and uh, yeah, he does that. He does more boxing now. Uh, maybe because they go that he hurt his legs. A lot. Yeah, could be. So that, I think that's definitely a factor. Uh, boxing wise, I think PT Yan's gonna outbox him. Yeah, Aldo might win the later rounds because the uh, first uh, initial rounds because of his speed. But as it goes further on, I think it just favors PT Yan. Yeah, they're both the cardio. Got, yeah, they both they've got good takedown defense and stuff. Like that, but um, Aldo's got amazing takedown yeah. defense. That's just uh, you know. You could go but, with Aldo because of experience, just the level of fight, the matches, number of matches out as well. But like you said, the older, you go, the more older uh, you get, the more damage you take it. So yeah, okay. So Petrian could be on the come up, and you could take it off him. Like okay, basically. so um, you want to break it down, or you want to do official picks? I want to do official picks. Okay, so I think um, Peter Peter Petrian's gonna win. Yeah, same. Yeah, decision. Decision. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it'd be hard five rounds. Like it'd be tough. Yeah, I think Aldo's gonna get tired in the later rounds, yeah. and Petrian's gonna pick it from yeah, the yeah. Momentum will um, carry him over, but um, 
those are the three main fights on the main card. Then you got the last two. Uh, what's her name? Let me just get the name. Oh, Amanda. Got, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do the first thing. Jessica Andrade versus Rosa. Rosa Nami 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 Yunus. Yunus. Oh, it's been so long that she's yeah, fallen. Yeah, I can't remember her name. <laughs> so, uh, Rose Nami Yunus. Uh, she's still number two. She ended up falling like a year and a half or something. Yeah, ages. No, us, um, so, her last fight, obviously, she lost to um, Jessica Andrade. Wasn't it her last fight? No, I don't. Yeah, it was. Are you sure? Yeah. Remember, she was the champion. No, 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 no. She fought after that. What? She fought five after that and she won impressively. Rose, check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't remember. Come on, come on. Yeah, but let's say a title come fight. Come on. Where Casual got... alert. Casual no. alert. Oh, you know where she got? <laughs> Basically, uh, obviously, when she fought uh, Jessica Andrade, she got brutally, like, you know, uh, murdered. Yes, well, uh, no, she got... ain't murdered. She just got slammed on the head. No, it was that. That was the last fight. Huh? Was it? Yeah. I told you, I, man. I remember her coming back and she... Uh, I find who? <laughs> says he <yeah. laughs> May 11, 2019, she got banned. Yeah, no, you're casual there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, casual. Okay. But, who, uh, she didn't find nobody else. She didn't find nobody sure, I'm sure. No, then she left, remember? Oh, That's what we were saying. Why she thinking, like, not fighting anymore and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. But maybe she, it's good that she's had that little uh, break. Yeah, so basically, when she got dropped on the head, that yeah. opened her eyes, maybe. <laughs> to be possibilities. Uh, now they go that basically she lived the simple life and the calm life. Yeah. You know, she didn't like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think anyone would have to get slapped. <laughs> no, before that, man. Way before that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Like, um, so that, you know, the pressure of being a champion where you yeah. have to do interviews everywhere and go on, uh, you know, podcasts and stuff like that. Okay, and, yeah. Yeah, that must have got to her. And then, you know, remember when she got weight lifted, uh, a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Yeah. And then DC was trying, like, why can he be like that? You're a champ. And like, you know, he's yeah, talking like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you gotta realize the lifestyle. Everyone's has, different. Yeah. Right? Um, Everyone who do you have been. for this fight? Uh, I Rematch. Think, uh, okay, I'm gonna go with Rose. Should I tell you why? No, I, I was, I'm was. i gonna go with Rose as well. I went with Rose because. She just got slammed. Everything No, she, was she got slammed. She was beating her in everything yeah. aspect. If that slam didn't occur, but we can't say it's a yeah. She went for the slam, right? Yeah. But how many times do people get like slammed on the head? Slammed on the yeah. head and get KO'd. Yeah. It's not as often. So uh, I think she's had the recovery. Uh, she's had the break from fighting. And she's yeah. gonna be hungry to win and prove a point. So I think she's gonna she's gonna outclass her in every aspect in striking. In, yeah, in striking was phenomenal. She uh, Jessica Andrade couldn't even touch her. Like, she yeah. couldn't get near her. She was so slick in and out. Yeah, so I think... Uh, yeah, I pick Rose. Yeah, Rose. If it's... Uh, it's not a three-round. Yeah, it's three-round. Rose decision, this though. Decision, yeah. yeah. You never know. She could do a spectacular knockout. Well, Maybe, yeah. For revenge. But she's definitely winning. Decision. Okay. Me. And let's do the... Final... F- uh, fight first fight of the main card. So... Uh, Amanda Rebus. One from the top to the bottom, really. It's Amanda Rebus. Amanda Rebus for the Paige of Anza. Yeah, so uh, I think Paige is there's a Paige final fight. <laughs> you think she's gonna actually come back? Like she she's know. been losing, isn't it? She's on a losing streak. Yeah. So twelve gauge is on a losing streak. Um, Amanda Rebus top fifteen Paige of Anza, not even numbered anymore. So uh, let's see what her losing streak is. Like. <laughs> let's see what happens. I thought she won. Oh, she won. She won versus Ostovich. No, that's yeah. right. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, wow, she has a fault, man. Age no wonder. So yeah, basically... She has a fault in over a year and a half. So um, it's been like 15 months or 16 months. And even before that, it was another year. And then before that, it was two years. Well, a year and a half. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, because she was on Dancing with the Stars or something. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, I think Amanda Rivas. She's got... Uh, I think she's four... Recently, as no, well. she's done. It. She's on a good. Um, yeah, she's on a good streak. Yeah. Man, Rebus. I think technically she's better than uh, Paige. Yeah, I'm just trying to find. I think um, Rebus. Yes, yeah, she's nine and one. She's from Brazil, and yeah, she's definitely gonna win. That. Who was that? <laughs> she's definitely gonna win. <laughs> what? She. De- yeah, yeah, look, she beat she Random Marcos, and she fought literally three months ago. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna win, 
And she fought Dern. Uh, who won her, Mackenzie Dern? Mackenzie Dern. No, okay. yeah. Rebus beat her, man. Yeah, see, Rebus beat Mackenzie Dern, who's a jiu-jitsu world champion. And then she beat Randa Marcos. I want to say she's a, champ- a top-class fighter, though, anyway. Yeah, yeah, but let's just say she had that threat, right? What yeah. threat does Beja? She did Dancing with the Stars, though. <laughs> you can dance around you in circles, bro. Nah, uh, she did be uh, Watson, though. That was ages ago, four years ago. Paige? Yeah. She be Watson? Yeah. No. Watson be her? Watson choked her out? No. She won Oh, one. I can't believe that. Yeah, look. No, that's wrong, man. Are you sure? Yeah, that's a wrong. That's wrong. Oh, yeah, Watson did choke her out. Watson well. choked her out. They, they Who bro- did she win against? That spectacular kick on Oh, oh, that's the next... Yeah. She just did some, you know... <laughs> she came stuff. off... She she came the, the, yeah, she's not going to win, man. Sorry. Okay, let's do... Uh, <laughs> let's do <laughs> final. Let's do... <laughs> I can't allow this. Oh. I can't allow this on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> so, uh, final fix, yeah. I'll pick Rebus, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, anyway... <laughs> No, by any means necessary. <laughs> by any means necessary. I'm being Amanda Rivas. No, just because of... Uh, she hasn't fought recently. She fought last time one and a half years ago. Whatever. Should I go with the sacrifice? Should I go with the sacrifice pick? <laughs> Mortal Kombat. I'm uh, quite Island. Oh, yeah. I heard the... What time's the fight? I heard it's really early in the morning. Yeah, I think it starts at 3 a.m. UK time. So, with the UK listeners, yeah. please stay up. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping that because of Abu Dhabi, it was supposed to be like 8 o'clock. Yeah, 7, 8, like where Habib and Poirier yeah. was. But uh, I guess, you know, the catering UFC towards need the money. Uh, American, American audience. audience. Yeah, so, yeah, kiss my ass with that. Uh, but yeah. How should we end this? Because we huh? talked about the main card. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. Make yeah, sure you yeah. watch the watch along live stream that we're going to put we're on Saturday. Be, yeah. MMA Diagnosis main card we're going to do a watch along watch along we'll yeah, if, we, if we do if we are up for it we may do the prelims as well but we have to see yeah, we have to see what response we get if, if people want prelims as well we'll do the prelims but yeah we might do a survey for it we can do a survey isn't it? on okay. the Insta or whatever yeah, we'll see Insta, if people want to watch it Facebook things like that alright um, anything else to talk about anything else uh, yeah man, it's going to be a great card great fights yeah we've done that one yeah sorry <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I think. Uh, Any news? Nothing? No. Any news, significant uh, right now. Uh, yeah, we just keep it to that then. I think. Uh, subscribe, yeah, like, shit, comment yeah. to our channel and made diagnosis. Follow our Instagram and Facebook at MMA Diagnosis as well. Um, we hope you enjoyed this uh, podcast. Shout out everyone uh, supporting the movement, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, Trying to keep. We're trying to keep it like going Sister. strength to strength. We don't want to, you know, um, we're not going to give up. Never. <laughs> All right. Um, Peace. See you in the next episode. Peace.